Hi, it's Chloe from Bullet Journal by Chloe. Today I'll be showing you how I plan out a week in my Inspire Spirit Planner. I'll also be talking through how I use the planner alongside being a student and how I match this to my bullet journal. I will also be giving my thoughts and giving it a little review on the Inspire Spirit Planner. The planners are available in three different colours. This includes Business Black, Dreamy Blue and Elegant Rose Gold. The planner that I'll be using this year is the rose gold colour. The planner comes in this bag which I like to reuse all the time. I'll keep stationery in it, I will put my planner within it and I use it just to keep things stored all together. So say for example I'm using a certain type of pen for that month, I'll keep it in the bag with the planner and it keeps it all nicely neat together. It also comes with this thank you note which is a nice little touch. The rose gold colour has a really nice shiny outer cover and here are some of the key features on the outside of the planner. Now let's have a look inside the planner. At the beginning there's lots of different prompt pages that helps you set up your year. I've matched my theme to the same theme as my bullet journal. The Inspire Spirit Planner has been created in mind with five most important wellbeing pillars. This includes self-development, spiritual development, goal setting, time management and nature. These five pillars are what they want you to look at at the beginning of the planner to help set you up for the year. I think the beginning section of this planner really helps me to ask myself questions about what goals I want to get out of the year, what do I want to achieve and it really sets me up in a way that helps me to be successful throughout the year. I'm currently in my third year of uni and a point in my life where I need to start making critical decisions on what kind of career I would like to have. Asking myself these kind of questions really helped me understand what I need to do to set up goals to be able to do this. Within my bullet journal for January, I've done the theme of magic. Within the Inspire Spirit Planner, there is so much room for personalization, so I like to match the theme of my bullet journal to my planner. So I've made a cover page for January with this magical feel. Here is what I've been up to this month already. Here are what the pages look like before I start planning on them. At the end of each month there is a review page for you to be able to check in on yourself. This is also done at the end of six months and at the end of the journal after one year. The other pages included in the back of the planner are a nude mandala tracker, books to remember, birthdays and holidays, a finance tracker, a budget tracker and also a page where you can make a check to yourself. Finally at the back of the book there's this little pocket where I like to keep bits of scrap paper or important notes that I need to be attached to the planner. This is really helpful and I think it's a great feature of the planner. Now that we've had a look through the Inspire Spirit Planner Let's start planning out a week. I'll be using some pens and some washi tape and a few stickers for this spread. To start with, I'm using some purple washi tape. I'm sticking this to the edge of the page. This gives the page some colour and it makes it pop. Because the edge of the pages are rounded, I'm using a pair of scissors to trim the edge of the washi tape to make sure it fits the edge of the page. Now that I've added some colour, I'm taking a black pen and I'm writing in the date at the top of the page. Across the top, there's Monday to Sunday and there's a little box where you can put the date in. Because these plans are undated, you can start a planner any time of the year. Now I'm going back in with a greyish bluish colouring pen and adding it down the time slots on the side. Now the planners have all the different times of the day down the side of the page, from Monday to Sunday. So you can time block your day and work out exactly what you want to do each day. The first column of this page is for weekly goals and top priorities. 
So I'm just going in and filling in all my different weekly goals this week and underneath I'll be making a list of all the top priorities that I want to get done. I usually tend to plan near the end of the week, usually on a Saturday or a Sunday. But this can sometimes change depending on when I get my timetable from uni or what's going on in the week. One of my top tips for a really busy week is to plan out my weekly spread using an erasable pen. That way, if things change and you need to change up your daily plan, you can do that easily just by erasing what you've written down already and putting in something new. You could also try planning daily rather than planning weekly. I prefer planning weekly because that way I can put my uni schedule into the plan. But if you prefer to plan daily, you can set it up each day as to what you've got going on or you can do it weekly, whatever suits you. Due to the current lockdown, all of my lessons for university have been transferred online. So I'm currently making a schedule for what lessons I have at what time. Keeping a planner is really important to me because not only does it allow me to keep on track of what I'm doing, it also allows me some time to check in on myself and to make sure that everything is going well within the week. One of my favourite things about the planner is that it's made with vegan friendly leather and the pages are eco-friendly. Like I mentioned before, the planner has so much room to personalise it. I love matching it to my bullet journal and each month I will try and match the themes together so the planner and the bullet journal have the same theme throughout. Different ways you could try personalising your bullet journal could include using coloured pens, washi tape, stickers, post-it notes or anything you'd really like to try. Make sure to head over to my social media at Instagram at Bullet Journal by Chloe to see how I customise my planner each week. On weeks where I've been really busy at university but I haven't got a lot of homework for the weekend, I'll try and give myself Saturday and Sunday off so I will do a little doodle over this section instead. However, some weekends I do need to plan out, so I will do the exactly the same like I have done Monday to Friday on the Saturday and Sunday section. In the bottom left hand corner there is a habit tracker. This is great for writing out all the different things that you want to track for that week and keeping on top of them, ticking them off once you've done them and it just helps to make sure that you are really doing what you need to be doing for that week. In the bottom right hand corner there's a box for you to fill in however you like. Normally I'll fill this with a to-do list or a quote, whatever helps motivate me throughout the week. And now my weekly spread is done. So this is how I like to plan out a weekly spread in my Inspire Spirit Planner. It's so helpful to keep it on track of what I need to be doing and it also is helpful to see what I didn't get done for the week and what I need to put over to the next week. If you're interested in purchasing your own Inspire Spirit Planner, make sure to use my discount code PLANWITHCHLOE10. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all soon.